viewers on the 2020 advisory board. He was federal and local law enforcement. Steve Rogers, good to see you, Steve. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. Now, Steve, you and I, both former law enforcement guys, if we had done half, if we had done half, if we had done a tenth, a percent of what McCabe did and Comey did and Mueller did and Strzok did and, and not Mueller, well, Mueller did his thing, but Strzok, I'm talking about at the genesis of the investigation, we would have been investigated by internal affairs, definitely fired or OPR on the federal side and IG, definitely fired and most likely prosecuted, correct? And sent to prison and, and we'll sent never to see prison. the light of day. That's right. That's what exactly happened to us. And you know, you know what happened here? They got caught. They never expected uh, Donald Trump to become president. They never expected uh, Robert Mueller to do what he did. Uh, so at the end of the day, the president has been consistent, has said all along, and all of us who work with the president knew there was never any collusion. There was never uh, ever any obstruction. It was all a hoax, for goodness sakes, at the expense of the American people. But you know what? They're going to end up paying a heavy price for what they did. Yeah, Steve, I, I have to tell you, after this press conference today, if I were Andy McCabe, if I were Peter Strzok, if I were any of those people in that cabal, I would be very, very nervous. Bill Barr today established himself as a guy who cares about one thing, the rule of law. He is going to restore integrity to DOJ. I have the same question for you both. First to you, Jenna, then to you, Steve. Do you think Barr prosecutes on the IG's criminal referrals? I think he will. And I think that he owes the American people that. And I think um, like what you just said, he has established himself and even has a lengthy history and tenure uh, with his previous tenure of being the attorney general, that he will follow the rule of law. And that's what justice requires. Remember, there is yeah. an ethical obligation and a special rule of prosecutors to do whatsoever justice requires. And in this case, regarding President Trump, justice requires that there's that there's nothing uh, to prosecute. But when there is something and there is evidence of a crime, then that that is what justice requires is to prosecute those people and hold them accountable for breaching the law. Steve, same question to you. Do you think Barr prosecutes on criminal referrals from the IG? And I'll go one step further on criminal referrals from Republican members of Congress on some of these same people. Oh, he sure will. And, and keep in mind, something very significant happened today during the entire news media blitz on this. Ken Starr, actually, you remember the prosecutor, oh, sure. uh, been, Bill Clinton. I've been playing video Starr, on it today. Yep. And despite what the mainstream media says, despite what the uh, Democrat socialists are saying, Ken Starr came out and said that Barr did the right thing. He came forward. He was transparent. He's credible. He gave the American people exactly what they needed to see in order to maintain what? Integrity of the Justice Department. So he achieved that goal. And further, moving forward, in order to continue the maintenance of integrity of the Justice Department, he will prosecute those responsible for committing this, what can only be described as atrocious act, not only against the president of the United States, but the American people. Yeah, and the Constitution, let's call it what it was. It was an attempted coup. Jenna, going back to something you touched on a little while ago, one of the narratives that you're not hearing out there on the MSNBCs, the CNNs, the WAPOs, the New York Times, we know we won't, is that Mueller worked with Barr on these redactions. He's okay with all these redactions. Yeah, absolutely, because the redactions are required by law, and right. that's what the Democrats and the mainstream media are trying to manipulate, that somehow there was some kind of cover-up, and this goes back to obstruction. But again, uh, the White House nor President Trump has ever once asserted executive privilege. They have said, release the whole thing, be fully transparent, understanding that there are obligations under law that Barr has to uh, to, to go through, and, and he's required by law to do. And so, of course, Mueller is going to uh, be okay with those because that that protects the integrity of people who uh, you know he may have interviewed or the grand jury investigations. I mean, no one wants to sit on a grand jury and then think that anything right. that they any of that evidence could ever get out into the public. This is protecting the process and protecting the integrity of the rule of law and protecting those witnesses who might have spoken to federal investigators. Real quick, ten seconds for each of you. How long does Rod Rosenstein last? First to you, Steve. I think he's going to last quite a while. He's actually, uh, it seems like he just turned around. He stood by <laughs> the attorney general today. He's uh, supported the redactions and a report. I think he'll be around for a while. Jenna? I think he might, but, you know, I wrote a piece for Washington Examiner just a couple weeks ago asking the question, why is he still around? And I think that is still a valid question. All right. Thank you very much, Steve. Jenna, great to see you both. Pleasure. Great Thank to you. see you, too. When we come back.